like a little bit of skin. I feel like it's illegal to run in the shopping mall. It makes me feel like such a boss. A really nice day, really relaxing. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, which is probably likely, my name is Emma Stubbs. <laughs> And I am going to be showing up here a lot more than I have in the past because I'm just really keen to get more regular videos up. And I'm thinking mostly vlog style, so if that's something you're interested in, then stick around because that's kind of the content I'm going to be posting. But anyway, I want to jump right to it. So basically, it's Wednesday today, and today I think I'm going to record until like probably about Sunday and just do a couple of days of my life um, for this video. So it won't be a full weekly vlog, just a couple of days. And yeah, I just want to share my life in Dubai because I have moved here eight months ago and there's just it's just so different from where I come from so I'm from South Africa so I think it could be cool for a lot of people to see what I get up to and you know just normal girl things you know <laughs> so today as I said it's Wednesday and I got up in the morning and made my coffee and went down and downstairs to the amenities area and sat in the sun while I had my copy because I heard that's really good for you so I've been doing that a lot more recently not every day because I come up with excuses all the time as to why it's better for me to just go immediately to my laptop or whatever spend time scrolling on Instagram or you know just wasting time but I've definitely noticed a huge difference on the days that I actually do go downstairs and sit in the sun with my coffee than the days that I don't do it I just feel so much more fresher and clear-minded and I just don't have like this huge fog of me then I cleaned the apartment the it was quite a mess because we got a bunch of deliveries yesterday I also made dinner and then after dinner because I finish work quite late after dinner I was so tired so I didn't really clean up the kitchen afterwards and I'm usually like literally a zombie after food so I prefer to clean in the mornings so I cleaned the apartment this morning and I did film it so I can put little snippets while I'm talking <laughs> and I folded all the laundry and then I made myself some breakfast some dippy eggs and toast it's like my favorite at the moment I don't know what it is but in the morning I'm just not that hungry and anything else just makes me feel like nauseous like the idea of anything else even just like cr scrambled or fried eggs which I was really enjoying not so long ago I was having fried eggs every day that just makes me feel a bit nauseous so dippy eggs and toast is what I can stomach um and I'm just been loving it um yeah and I'm gonna be I've just been on my laptop doing some laptop things and then I'm gonna head to the gym in probably like 10 minutes I'm just gonna have a little snack because it's been quite a while since my food been on my laptop and yeah so I'll take you with me. If you're keen to stick around, then join me in my couple days. Hello. It's been a while since I last showed my face and um, a lot's happened. I haven't like gotten the confidence or I'm not sure if I probably ever will take this camera out in terms of like being kind of the vloggy person that talks in public to the camera. So I'm just going to catch you up. Basically, Sheldon came inside my room and suggested that we go out to O Porto with some friends for lunch. So I went with and had like a really nice chicken salad. Here you go, Sheldon, run. Oh, Run. Are you gonna run away? No. I feel like it's illegal to run in the shopping mall. <laughs> what, you tired? No. I run past the point too. I race you. I'm tired. No. I sent you a thing on Amazon. Did you remember the link I sent you? And then we came back and I went down to the gym downstairs in our building, searched some clips. Now I took a few little clips. That was really nice because it's actually raining in Dubai, which is bizarre because it doesn't rain that much. But it's raining and it's miserable and I was planning on cycling to a gym close by. But as soon as I got outside, so I walked downstairs with like the every intention of doing that. Walked downstairs, walked outside and it was raining. And I was like, why am I going to put myself through cycling in the rain when I can just gym in my own building? I went back inside my building and gym downstairs and it was actually really great. And then because it's, it's right here, it took so quick because I'm already back. I'm just going to have a protein bar. Uh, I've never tried this one, La Pereza. So I can tell you what it's like. 
and I'm gonna sit here and just turn this some um, videos. I was feeling really strong in the gym today because like, I don't know what it was. I think it, I feel like wearing shorts with tracksuit pants over it just makes me feel like such a boss. And these like, these tight jacket things that I got from Amazon, which I'm obsessed with, I ended up buying the white one and then I ended up buying two more pairs because I'm obsessed with them. These are like my go-to favorite. I wear them almost every workout now, especially because it's winter in Dubai. It's kind of chilly, so it works perfectly. But I feel like that's such a badass, <laughs> such a good feeling. So I'm feeling so good now. So I'm gonna eat this. Mm. It's not bad, it's actually really nice. And we have the little crunchy bits on top. I love it, focus. <coughs> I need to focus on this thing now. These little crunch. I really like these little crunchy bits on top here. Um, but I have to say, because I haven't been eating like dairy products for very long at all, I'm not like a pro when it comes to like knowing what the best whey protein bars are. So I wouldn't use my advice as like this is the best one. But it's definitely, I would say, it's pretty good. So yeah. I'm gonna sit here and eat this and then I'm gonna edit some of these videos. And yeah, I'm gonna then also prepare for my client later. Sheldon and the rest of like the friends that we went to were lunch. They went across the road to the sauna and I decided to go to the gym instead. So they're probably still there. I'm not sure if I should join them, but I think I'm actually just gonna bark, like enjoy the quiet time. Yeah, I'll check back with you guys later. Good morning. It is Thursday, so happy Thursday. And I just got a delivery, a really exciting one um, from a company. I'm gonna pop you over here. From a company in, hold on. From a company in South Africa. It's called Hannah Lavery. Local company in South Africa and they are like boutique and they have the most gorgeous clothes. And I got a gift card for their place for my birthday. And the stuff has arrived really quickly once it was ordered. I had a bit of an issue with trying to get it to Dubai, but it ended up sorting out of it was on my side an issue. But wow, the box got a little bit ruined. But let me show you. Came in like a beautiful box, which is really nice. But it, it got ruined in the process of arriving here, which is kind of disappointing. But I thought I could open it with you guys and do a little try on. Wow. It's so beautifully packaged. I'm so excited. So I got, if I can remember, a t-shirt, gorgeous material. Got a, a white one and then a black one of the same thing. I'm like really digging like loose clothing at the moment. And it works so well in Dubai because in the summer it's so hot. But sometimes you just don't want to only wear shorts and t-shirts. So loose fitting clothing is definitely a vibe. And then these beautiful pants. So let me let me put these on and show you guys what it looks like. So I have on what is it? For? Okay, this is the June top in white. As you can see, it's just really flowy. It definitely needs to be ironed, but it's like perfect for like a little, like a little tuck in moment. It's just like the most softest material. It's wonderful. And then I've got on the arena pants in gray which i was worried about the sizing but it seems to be perfect if you're a tall girl you're a bit short but i think it's kind of really pretty here is the black version it's exactly the same as the white it's kind of like a three-quarter length on the arm it's gorgeous the last thing i got is this beautiful river dress just super like i said i was looking for new spinning flowing stuff one of the most sold me on this dress is this zip thing so you can <laughs> be super conservative or you can zip it down and like tuck it in like a little bit of skin and the same with the legs so it zips all the way down so this is my gym outfit we're gonna go to the gym now uh you can't actually see a uh, burnt active from south africa bra. and then my pants wait these are from a 
uh, like this lady in she's currently living in Dubai but she is like a Mexican and she has a clothing activewear brand and I did a shoot for them here in Dubai which was really quite cool um, and I got to keep these pants which are like so flattering and then I've got my uh, barefoot shoes on I want to have something to eat like a quick snack and then we're gonna head to the gym Just a background on this, just to put some context. So the water in Dubai is not really drinkable. Some people say <laughs> some people say that you can drink it, but most people say you shouldn't. So we be, we drink a lot of bottled water here, um, and the bottled water that you get is usually void of minerals and salt so we've been here for eight months and we seriously have found that we think that we're getting dehydrated because we don't have minerals in our water so like you basically drink the water and then pee it out immediately we've been trying different things we have actually started adding minerals into our water um, so there's that we add literally like trace mineral drops in our water but then sheldon got an ad on instagram for these hydration kind of electrolytes mix it says here replenishing electrolytes and antioxidant mix and it's like sugar free and it's like basically got electrolytes in it so our hydration because both of us have got like seriously dry lips I don't know how to explain it, but the water tastes dry. Mm. Like you drink the water and you're like, it feels like it doesn't have water in it, which is so weird. Anyway, we're gonna taste it now. I'm gonna try the berry pomegranate. It comes in such a cool little packaging as well. I uh, ordered it yesterday. It was supposed to be same day delivery, but they came today, which is still very fast, obviously. You might, how do you say it? The mantra. How much do you do? This one. 350. Okay, we should. That's 330. Fine. Oh, spray heat thingy. They like sugar. Yeah, it's got zero, zero grams of sugar, which is pretty cool. I don't know what they taste like. This one's very, very pomegranate, and the one Sheldon has is um, lay line. Whoa, I didn't realize the water was so high. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see the line. Oh no, it's just expanding. It's not even full. I just put it all in. Well, it looks like, it looks like a dog, this coloring. Although, there's too much water in this bowl. This is the Malayan lime. It could be completely just a waste of money. No, it tastes good. But. There are reasons for this because we are not having tap water which has like natural minerals and stuff like that. And we've been here long enough that I seriously feel like something's missing. So if this works, that would be cool. Plus it probably tastes nice. We didn't, taste? we didn't have this issue when we went back to Cape Town for a month. Yeah, that's so. true actually. It's a good point. We went to Cape Town for a month, like three weeks, and no problem because we were drinking tap water there. Delicious. That's the pomegranate. It tastes nice. It's, it's salty. Oh, yours is salty. Nice. Mine tastes way better. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This is good. It's later this Thursday, we went to the gym, we went to Fit Republic, which is a little bit far. When I say far, I mean like 20 minutes away. It's a really cool gym, it has so many other things in it that I wish I had more time to kind of show you guys. But it's in Sports City, so it's got Olympic sized pool, it's got soccer, indoor soccer courts, it's got, I don't know, yoga, everything you can think of when it comes to sport. And then it's got a gym there, and uh, I really like the gym, like it was really, really great workout. I'm just feeling so relaxed, the weather in Dubai is really strange. It's overcast for quite a while, which is very unusual. I mean, I haven't lived here in the winter before, so this is my first time experiencing their winter. But I was under the impression that it was just really hot all the time, 24 seven heat. And that if it rained, it like rained and then disappeared. But this overcast weather seems to be staying for a while, which is interesting. And it's kind of making you feel really cozy. It's kind of cold outside, which is cool. So 
I am at my laptop now going to work until later where I have a client that I'm training. Yeah, so I'm gonna get really cozy. I got a decaf coffee and I'm just gonna sit and work until my next client in a couple hours. Explain where we're going. Helen just booked us a massage. <laughs> I'm literally so tired, like that put me in the most relaxing mood, but I'm... Yo. Hello, <laughs> um, it's time for dinner and I am thinking of making a curry. I just popped downstairs really quickly because we didn't have chicken breast after my um, client and I'm going to start now. Yeah, I was supposed to work earlier, I was just like in the zone and then Sheldon came in and he showed me a message and it was a surprise. He booked us a massage at our favorite massage like brand. So basically they have a bunch around the bar and he had booked us one. And I mean, I can't say no to a massage, are you kidding me? <laughs> so we went and had a massage, it was so good. And then I came back and I trained my client. And now I'm here, it is 10 to 10 in the evening. So I'm hungry, I'm ready for food. So I'm gonna get going on this. We, we're making, today I'm making a chicken and egg pot masala curry. So I'm very excited for curry because it's cold in Dubai. So like a like warm curry while watching something on TV sounds literally perfect. The food is cooking and I was just wanted to say that I love it when a meal has like 10 minutes just to cook at the end and it gives me time to clean up the mess that I made so that I can have a clean kitchen after the food. Good morning and happy Friday. Uh, it is currently 20 to 12. So I guess it's not really morning, it's more like midday. Today I don't have uh, in-person clients. So I'm just spending the morning kind of working on my online clients programming and um, just checking up and all of that kind of stuff I've done that I have some quite a few plans for my coaching business because I'm a if, I don't know if any of you know but I'm an online personal trainer so yeah I've just been kind of strategizing with how I can grow this business and just kind of really planning it out and it's I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit overwhelming because obviously figuring it all out yourself okay. yeah, that's why I love yeah, my story. Well. you look cool babe So you're just gonna go work in a cafe or something? Yeah. That's nice. I'll sit in the IFC. Yeah, to figure out how that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up toothpaste smell. <laughs> Hello, it's much later now. It's like seven hours later and I've been sitting at my computer for this whole time. I haven't moved. I did get up and have food. But yeah, I've just been sitting and working this whole time. It's literally the coziest weather and I really am in the mood to watch a movie. But I did have an upper body session scheduled for today. Um, so I think that, that I'm gonna go work out now. And I think I need to just get moving because I haven't moved all day. I've literally been sitting here for so long. <laughs> Hello, happy Saturday. It's been a really nice day, really relaxing. Just honestly woke up and had the best workout. I had a electrolyte sachet during my workout and I honestly think that it made such a big difference because I hit like six PBs. <laughs> but we're off now to the mall, the Dubai mall, because we need to drop off our rental car. And I think I'm gonna take my phone and I'll take some snippets while I'm there. But I just wanted to just catch up and say, hey, I'm alive. Just chilling. I read so much today. Just oh, one of those beautiful days. What are you doing? Taking a photo of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. This one.
Sunday. Um, I've had another relaxing start to the day, but I have a nail appointment now that I have to rush through. I've literally got, I've literally got like five minutes until my appointment. Let me just pop you guys here. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got literally five minutes to my appointment. I booked really quickly on that because my nails are looking so bad. And we have friends visiting us for a week from Cyprus. So this week, I just don't think there's going to be time to go have a nail appointment because we're just going to be basically taking them around Dubai and Abu Dhabi in all our free time. So I decided I quickly want to get this sorted today while I have the time. Luckily, there's a salon literally right downstairs from our building. It will take me five minutes to walk this. I'm just quickly washing my face and getting ready. I literally wash like such a, <laughs> a rigorous, um, I'm not gentle at all, it's so bad. Oh no, there's no towels. <laughs> I put a load on to wash all our towels, so we have clean towels. So yeah, we have no towels in the bathroom. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I'm wearing my new top that I got the other day and it's so nice and comfortable. I, I love it already. Definitely. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's a boutique, so it's and it's also lo locally made, so I don't know. Well, obviously local as I mean to Africa. So I'm getting a Russian gel manicure, which I've never gotten before. Um, that's just the type of manicure that they offer downstairs. Um, but I ha actually happened to see a girl on TikTok who was talking about like the things that she doesn't regret spending her money on. She said Russian gel manicures. So I'm actually quite keen to see how it's going to turn out. Although I don't think it's going to be the best because a couple of my nails are broken. So maybe the lady can help me by bending my broken nails so that it doesn't, I don't have to chop all my nails off because my nails are so unnaturally very brittle. No matter what I've done with my diet, supplements, like, they just always brittle so i don't know my my thumbnails are like hard as rock but every other nail just breaks so easily so that's kind of annoying um i'm going for the curly girl look today because my hair's a little bit dirty i'm not a makeup girl i have not worn makeup years not to say that i don't like makeup in general honestly probably the biggest reason is that i just can't stand the feel of makeup on my face. Um, maybe if I wore more often, I would be more used to it, but yeah, I don't, I can't do it. If I were to wear makeup, I would wear just a tiny bit of base and powder and bronzer and mascara. And I do like mascara a lot. And yeah, whenever I see the girlies putting on makeup in videos, honestly, I'm so impressed because you guys do it so well. I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Luckily for me, it does take really quick to get ready, so I'm ready to go. I'm very excited. I'm going to take my book and I'm going to read the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm back from my appointment and I literally love it so much. The lady that did my such good attention to it, I was just so impressed with the way that she did it. So I'm definitely going to go back to her and it kind of helps that it's literally right here. I think the rest of the day, I'm just going to be taking it easy. I'm probably going to go to the gym or I will go for a walk. And if I do, I might just show that. And then I have a client to train later. Um, anyway, so thank you for sticking around with this video. If you did make it this far, I really appreciate you and your support. And if you would like to see more from me, then check out my channel, subscribe and like the video. Bye.